Welcome back. We are now going to check back in with Tom down at the Great Passion Play. That's right. Tom, what makes the Passion Play so special? Well, I, I guess I, if, if I were going to say what makes the Passion Play so special, it's the fact that it's a story that so many people have known through the ages, and it's a heartfelt rendition. Is uh, would, would you agree with something like that? Absolutely. We have a lot of people in our cast. Yes. They have been in the play year after year after year, and uh, we're just so excited to be able to start performances back next week on Friday is Good Friday, and it's time to see the Passion Play. If you haven't seen it before, come see it for the first time. Even if you've seen it before, because it, it grows, it has grown over the years. Where do people go to find out about tickets to be able to purchase? So they can purchase tickets on our website, greatpassionplay.org, greatpassionplay.org, or they can call us, 800-882-7529, and we have people uh, in the box office working now. You can even get tickets at the gate, at the door. Um, and, of course, the curtain time is 7.30, but we don't have a curtain because it's performed that's, in this massive amphitheater. It is. And uh, we're standing now in our art museum. Yes, and, and it's amazing here because everything here really is dedicated to education, understanding. Yeah, that's part of our primary purpose. Yes. It's educational and charitable mm -hmm. as a nonprofit. And so we wanted to take uh, what we have in the Bible Museum that we offer all year round. Right. And this art museum experience is really something that only happens on Days of the Passion Play. All right. So Start giving it, a, 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 well, right over your shoulder there is an incredible piece of art. This, and I am not as, as gifted at uh, art as I am Bibles. Dramatic art I like, but this is one of the rarest pieces that we have by Tintorito. And it's an extremely rare piece. And, and what's amazing about our, our art museum is that we have a lot of uh, ancient art, if you will, mm -hmm. as far as the classics. And some are done by the actual people and others are done after them. That's an original one. Yes. And then you have a lot of different modes or styles of art, 64 different forms. I mean, we even have a picture of the Last Supper made from butterfly moths. Uh. <laughs> um, so it, 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 butterfly and moth wings. Yes. And, and so it, it, it's amazing when you look at that and then... We also have an artist named Jack Dawson, who is from Missouri, right. Web City, um, and he ha has a, an amazing display of what we call seek and find paintings, where there's a picture within a picture. Within, yes. Maybe you've seen the picture of, of the man sewing the American flag. Yes. A lot of people have seen that one. But Dawson has an incredible display, and then throughout his display, he has a, a painting called The Christmas Tree. And it's a beautiful Christmas tree, lots of different ornaments, and then he has enlarged those ornaments, if you will, and displayed them. And he, this is his main museum yes. uh, that he displays at. And so it's a gallery as well as museum where people can say, well, I want that one in my home. Now, you can't take the classic stuff home. Like, you know, you can't take the ninth uh, century bust of the head of Christ in marble yes. uh, away with you. And you shouldn't even touch that Probably when you're here. not. This is um, not a touchy-feely. This is a no, look, no, admire, a and look learn. and see, but, you know, the Passion Play uh, happens every night at 7.30 mm -hmm. when we're in season, Good Friday and Saturday. The Art Museum is open uh, those days as well as Memorial Day weekend through the end of October. Okay. And so that's Tuesday, Fridays, and Saturday nights. And we're about to enter into my favorite all-time painting picture. Uh -huh. And that's the Baptism of Jesus okay. uh, by John the Baptist. And it was painted around 1860. There's just these large paintings of, of, of Christ's life. It, it is amazing, because, and, and I'm sure that anyone who comes in here will experience what I did. And that is so many of these paintings, the statuary, it's, they're touchstones once again. It's like, I grew up seeing this. I grew yeah. up, this was in my church. Like, like this painting of Jesus, uh, you know, holding the bread in the cup. Yes. It's truly amazing. Like, that is one of my favorite all-time pieces in this gallery. Mm -hmm. And it's just so refreshing to see how Christian art has changed through the centuries. And then, you know, there's, there's just amazing work to be done. And, and that's what I think people need to come to the Passion Play. If they've come before and say, well, I saw that 30 years ago. Well, a lot has changed in the past yes, 30 years. A lot, it, 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 very much so. There is so much to see, so much to learn here. 
Again, tell people where to go for ticket information or information about everything here. Yeah, because, I mean, the art museum is open at noon, but you'd only know that if you go to the website, greatpassionplay.org. That's greatpassionplay.org. And we have brochures in your area. Bring your church group. Bring your, your family. We even have a new intern program for graduating high school students and college-age students to come. That's a paid internship. They live. They work here. They do great work. So, so much to offer. Thank you for having us by today. Back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Tom. Come